Yeah, guys, so today we're going to watch it. Yeah, I'll do some calisthenic moves. I'll teach you some basic moves. Them. So, guys, remember, like, share, subscribe, and keep on supporting. We're going to do a little vlog so you can come along enjoy the video. Guys, so we are searching for one spot. I don't know anything going on, guys. Sorry, say they, sorry, say they never forward today. I pick up an injury. They don't know anything. Huh? Jay! Yeah. Lucky people, everyone. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay Live. The Cal's X J Cruise here. It's Fitness King. If you haven't seen our first collab that we did um, before COVID, then you can check it out right here. It was a Cal's X push up workout. Um, today we're going to be doing some basic calisthenic skills for him to do. I thought his friend would have been here and we could pit them against each other to do some, you know, intense rip stuff. But we're just be going through the basics. If we find out that we don't get bothered by security, we're going to go for the parallels and get some serious plant work in, front lever, all that stuff. So, enjoy the vlog. Hey guys, don't you hear it from the big man? Big calisthenic YouTuber, you know, guys. I'll leave a link down below so you can check out his channel and subscribe and support yeah guys yeah guys so we are going beginner now so Jay ready we are going to do a warm up session so guys I'm so we are warm up for 5 minutes so I'm going to know what we are going to do I'm just going to do about 5 minutes worth of handstands um, some L sit work and we are going to show him how to do an elbow lever so entry level stuff so we got the pole right here. Um, I'm gonna time him if he can go beyond 30 seconds. That's really good for a beginner for a wall high stand. So let's go. And guys, remember this is my first time trying calisthenics. So absolutely beginner. All right. So what you wanna do? All right. Let's roll it. Right, so what you wanna do is just walk up um, the pole. Try to use the side foot for some support. Awesome. All right, so the time is going, folks. He's already up there for five seconds. Nice. So you want to make sure that the elbows are always locked, though. Just like that. Perfect. Now the wall isn't perfect, but if he was against the wall, we want his uh, body to be entirely straight from the toes straight to the wrist. See, that's better. Nice. And we're approaching 30 seconds about now. This is really good. For those of you who this is still too advanced for, you of course want to do the pipe holes. And you know what that looks like. It's simply just um, creating a fusion between your body. And if you find that a little bit too easy, I think he's, yeah. All right, that's good. So we just did 45 seconds of a wall handstand. That was really good. Um, Nice, as I said. Ah, guys, he is them kind of rice. Yeah, but... <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's uh, let me get Rick doing some actual handstands on the far list. Everything looks so dark, man. Guys, man, I feel like, guys, that... That she, like, she come and bring, guys, but we are continue. We have about four more minutes left, so... Yeah guys, subscribe you know, guys. Then I think though I gotta have more awesome video like this and more collabs with JR. 150 likes more on a video you know, guys. No we can do it you know, guys. Alright right, guys, so we are now gonna move on into more of the core work. So we're gonna have Kevon doing some else's. Now else's can be done on the ground. They can be done on parallels, they can even be done on the straight bar. But we're gonna go with the basic parallel bar L-sits, because that's the easiest one. So, 
Um, Rick, show them what uh, the different variations of Elsa's look like. That's so good. Right, so if you guys notice a couple of things, um, his back was rounded. This is what we call having a hollow body, and it's very important for all pronated and supinated um, exercises in calisthenics. The next thing was his arms were completely locked out. And it's a position that you're going to see a lot of um, us do in calisthenics because this is how we suspend the body in mid-air. Now, of course, you can do with bent arms or a straight arm depending on the level that you're at. But what we're going to make Kayvon do is we're going to try and make him keep his straight arm while doing the tough version. Now, let's see how far he can extend his leg. Try to bring the knees up a little bit more. Alright. Alright. So the progression after this is where he actually goes to the four up. There we go. <laughs> you can see the, you know, he's really shaking. But that is um, where he's at. He could probably go with a single leg where he's just got one up in the air like this. So of course he wants to do this for around mm, the same amount of time as the handstands, another 5 minutes and 30 second intervals. Or if it's a little bit too hard, he can do them at 15 second intervals. So uh, we're going to allow Kayvon to do about 4 more sets of that and then we'll get back to you. Right. Now we're going to work on the last skill which is the elbow lever. Alright, chill on. Show him what it looks like. Now this exercise is a lot easier than most people think it is. But it res resembles the plants, so that's why, you know, it's kind of a cheap move. Okay. Let's go. Alright. So essentially, he's resting his love handle on his um, elbows, so he treats them like shells. And then he's doing some core work to raise the rest of his body and keep it straight. Now the lower progression, do the top version. Yeah. So just like all other um, progressions that we do, we start top, and then we move into the straddle. Straddle. Right. Between the legs. And then you go into the foot. Right. So if you realize that his full elbow lever is a lot better than his straddle, that means he has some tight hamstrings. He really wants to work on the mobility of his hamstrings. So Kayvon's gonna give it a try in the tuck first. He's gonna go, lean onto his elbows, see if he can hold it. Nice. Feet together. Up some more. bad. He did have a lot of pike, which means that there is still more core strength that um, he needs to put into the exercise to level out the rest of his body. Let's go again. Alright. You want to be completely straight like that. Quick tip guys, if you're short and got a lot of uh, muscle on your calcite, is definitely where you want to be. Um, the taller you are, I believe, the harder it is because the further um, the weight is distributed from the um, ridge point or the tip of which is your shoulder. So, k is the right height, the right build for calisthenics. He's in the right area right now. Think I'm gonna check that? That is sticky. <laughs> Go again. Alright, careful. There's a tendency to turn the wrong way over. Yeah, I'm bringing up a shoulder though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Nee, dat kan zo niet. Alright. Heel veel hoe je zoekt op je Ja, maar dan is het straight Guys, that I think that was the third exercise. Calisthenics, um, I, just abs, abs, yeah, abs strength up. up. Uh, I know my abs them are kill me, guys. Nothing I like, but I do good so far. So move on to the next exercise, I know, guys. Remember, guys, like, share, subscribe. The end of the year is still good. They put a little injury. Yeah. Alright, guys. So. We are now going through the circuit that Kayvon is going to do. He's going to go with two isometrics and four concentric exercises, resting for 15 to 20 seconds in between each exercise. So, we're going to put him through some planche holes. They look like these. Not full planche, we're going to be doing tuck planche. Just like that. We're going to hold it between 9 and 12 seconds. Which of course is the ideal time limit for determining whether um, you're comfortable in a certain um, variation of an exercise so if he can really max out um, and go beyond 12 seconds he's probably ready to try the advanced to plant then we're going to be doing some front lever holes he's going to be doing them tucked like this for the same time period then we're going to go into the concentric exercise he's going to be doing the same planche but adding push-ups to it Of course, he's going to do a front lever, but adding pull-ups to it as well. And then he's going to finish everything off um, by doing some handstand push-ups against the wall. If those are too challenging for him, he's going to do some pike push-ups. So they look like this. As a matter of fact. Alright, uh, yeah, so that is it, guys. We're gonna make Kayvon go through this. Now let's see how he fares in the end. Alright, let's get it. Alright, ready. So, and also, Kayvon is gonna be doing um, between 5 and 8 reps for the concentric exercises. So, let's get started with some planche push ups. We've got the um, rest timer ready. Guys, guys, definitely feel the one in my chest, guys. Alright, so what he also wants to work a little bit more on is, of course, you know already, his hollow body. His, um, uh, the scapulas are coming too close together. He wants to be able to hold that position right there, come down with it, and press back up. Alright, let's go for nine seconds of the planche hold. Alright, hold. Yep. Let's go. Go ahead, 
Alright. Hey, So he can keep them bent. Alright, let's go. Let's go plant again. Train every day. 15 okay. seconds rest. Guys, I know we did think you know kind of easy about guys. I tell her, hi. Ready for 
gonna try and push up to this one. Push up. Let's go up. One. Let's go. Two. Up. Three. Let's go. Four. Let's go. Five. Let's go. Six. All right. Seven. One more. All right. One little pull ups. Stand hold for 30 seconds against the wall. Well, we're gonna see if you can do a push up for even just one rep against the wall. Let's go. Yeah guys, we done do our workout guys, definitely check it out guys, guys we feel like first time trying guys but I think we did a pretty great job, guys we're really tired so please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, J link will be down in the description, then check it out guys, so guys we out, peace. Alright.